Can I sell what I do to someone? Of course, if only another player wants to buy it. All the Earth 2 boys felt that one. What about those zombies? So somebody linked this on my Discord yesterday and was like, has anybody seen the new, the newest Kickstarter MMO? And I was like, okay, I'll open it up. I'll take a look, see, see what it's about. I know that there's a few Kickstarter MMOs on right now that I've not talked about, so I figured I'd roll them all into one video. Um, but this one that we're going to start off with, it just is just funny. I read the first line and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll save reading this for a video because it's probably going to be a funny one. But here you go. It's called Four Live. Uh, hope to create a free MMO game for a better tomorrow. A noble task, right? I mean, a noble vision. You want to make a better MMO. MMO is a little bit stale right now, maybe. So why not try it yourself? Asking for the low, low price of £978,000, which however much that is in dollars, like 1.2 mil or something. Um, and he's got $0 pledged in three days, one backer uh, that's apparently pledged nothing. And the guy says, I've been running my business for many years, starting with a restaurant. Now I employ a lot of people in the construction sector. I'm not sure what that any of that has to do with creating a game, but he's obviously you know off to a good start because if you pledge 10 euros or more, you get thanks from the developer on the official website of the game, which doesn't exist yet. So you you pay, and when they make a website, you'll get thanks. But let's go over the features. This is the most bare-bones Kickstarter I've ever seen. You've got to kind of respect this in a way. So what is 4Live Project? This is the assumption that players will build their own world by sharing inventory skills and knowledge. It is a sad box with almost unlimited possibilities. We live in a sad box, bro. We we live in a sad box. So I feel you on that one. That one hit real deep. What will it be about? We will play in the world after the explosion of atomic bombs. Our opponents will be biological contamination, weather conditions, and z <laughs> zombie. So I, I don't know if this is a new kind. I've not read the comic book lore on this one. Uh, is zombies either fast zombies or are they zombies that do Zumba? Um, we'll have to find out on that one. Some more clarification is probably needed. Will it be typical survival? No, it's supposed to be a casual game. You won't need to eat, drink, or sleep. So, yeah, I'm, I'm down for that. A bit more casual for the zombies. What about building? In the, it's, it is in the hands of the players. There will be major cities that cannot be destroyed. Cities can be freely enlarged manually or through ready-made diagrams, including safeguards, monitoring systems, and traps. It will be possible to build workshops and entire factories. So, satisfactory built in with the zombies. Gathering, yeah, you're gonna be able to collect almost everything. Plants, blood of zombie. I don't, why does he keep calling it? For, I thought that was a spelling mistake, but why does he keep calling it a zombie? It will be used for serum. Serum, serum, um, depends how you wanna pronounce that. Minerals, wood, steel, and many more. This section will be very extensive because it will be the basis of the skill tree. Cool. We have the materials. What's next? So we will produce serums, ammunition, clothes, weapons, buildings, and vehicles. Weapons and vehicles, you ask me, by the way, because I'm making these questions because nobody knows who I am. Uh, yes, depending on the skill in the skill tree, you'll be able to build a weapon yourself and paint it as well as vehicles. Cool. Can I sell what I do to someone? Of course, if only another player wants to buy it. All the Earth 2 boys felt that one. What about those zombies? They, they've taken over the world and... Oh, he's got zombies right here. They've taken over the world and together we will regain it. First cities, then countries to entire continents. There'll be several types of zombies. He's, he's on a roll. They will be subject to new mechanics. They will be able to literally cut them into pieces. Uh, E.g. after removing your hands and teeth. They can be used to carry heavy things... You can cut them in dozens of ways. What the fuck did I just read? You're going to be able to cut them into pieces. E.g. after removing your hands and teeth, they can be used to carry heavy things. I'm so confused. So you can chop the zombies up and use them as like pack mules. Okay. Uh, cool concept, I guess. Cities, countries, continents. How big will the map be? The world will continue to grow so far. Only three countries are planned on three continents so-called servers they will differ significantly from each other and we will move between them by trains okay so it's going to be like a a last oasis or an or an what was it called atlas scenario where you go between the different server clusters cool uh, big plans will another player be able to attack me the gameplay is focused on pv in cooperation the attack will be possible but severely punished isn't that too ambitious yeah this is a dream that all players have the success of the project depends on the support of the players we already have an example where even difficult projects work with the support of us players. For example, Path of Exile or No Man's Sky. A dream appeared and the players helped to make it come true. 
Did they though? Because No Man's Sky wasn't crowdfunded as far as I'm aware. Uh, it was funded by, wasn't it like published by Sony or something like that? And then obviously Path of Exile was partially crowdfunded, but they already had some semblance of a game. Uh, you've got like seven paragraphs worth of not spell check text on a, on a Kickstarter page asking for a milli. And the only reward you get is a thanks on a website that doesn't exist. So yeah, uh, probably not a, a direct comparison to Path of Exile and No Man's Sky, but you know, the players could help this come true. And then the best part, okay, but how will I know if you are doing anything at all? When we manage to collect some money, a page will be created with all the current information. So it's an all or nothing campaign, right? Yeah, it's all or nothing. So what that means when you combine all or nothing with when we get some money, we'll make a web page is give me a million pounds and I'll make a web page that tells you what the game could be. Like, yeah, good deal, good deal. Uh, I don't think we'll see him on Dragon's Den with that one. So there's a couple more. Uh, there's Never Rage, there's Inferno, there's Mine Camelot, there's Grund RPG. These are the ones that have popped up recently. Uh, I did go through a couple of them, but there's nothing really too crazy in terms of, of what's going on with them. It's just basically more projects to have almost no information whatsoever. Just no trailers, no uh, real text of any substance, not even any pictures in some cases. Just a bunch of, of text. This one's actually got a video. This raised £29 in 20 odd days. Oh, it's a Fortnite model. Oh god, that's loud. What, why, what are the proportions on these characters? Why, are the, why is the ass and the hips and the feet so huge? But the upper body is just absolutely tiny. That looks that looks absolute garbage. But it does kind of look like a Fortnite character. I'm going to guess that's because this is an Unreal game with... Like, look how big the feet are when it runs. It's wild. Looks like a fucking centaur with that big old rump. Uh, yeah, so that's Grund RPG. Risks and challenges. The only real risk we have for this project is in terms of deadlines. We have not... We have done our best to give achievable and realistic deadlines, but in this area, we are not immune to bugs. We're working on the best current stable and engine, Unreal Engine platform, which makes our pro project of superior quality. Uh, superior quality to what? Uh, one thing I will say, like looking at games like this, where they've not really got anything in their own Kickstarter, like the one we just looked at, this 4Live, uh, 4Live, 4Live, whatever it's supposed to be, it's funny, but at the same time, like if they actually had anything, what people seem to to get lost in translation is what Kickstarter's for. And I know I've probably been guilty of this at times where I'll see a project. Now, I'll give you an example since we're here. I don't usually work on Sundays, but fuck it, let's get into it. There's Project Steel Game here. They originally put a Kickstarter up and I made a video talking about it saying, why are you asking for like eight, eight grand or whatever the number was when you quite clearly need way more money than that? Because it basically just creates a scenario whereby... People, if it did get funded, lose eight grand and you don't have enough money to make the project or finish it. So essentially that means they might not get anything back for it ever, but you've taken their money. And it made me think about what Kickstarter act actually is and what it should be used for. And what we've been looking at, at least me, is when I see something that has no funding whatsoever, has no foundation, maybe it's only an idea, I'll just be like, don't back this, because obviously 99 times out of 100, you're not going to get anything back for it, and it's going to be a mess, and they're just going to take the money. They're probably not scammers. They're probably just people who want to make something but don't have the funding, and this is their grand idea, and that's cool and all, but the end result is that people are not going to get things. But that's what Kickstarter's for. Like, listen to the word, Kickstarter. It's, it's for kickstarting projects. It's not for necessarily but can be used for giving additional funding to people who already have funding so when somebody shows up and they've got an idea and they've done some work to it uh, really fleshed out the idea put in a lot of time like made maps and concept art and things like that got a real design brief i don't want to immediately just be like yeah don't fund this but it's the only sound advice as a consumer like if you go in with your eyes wide open and understand the risk that you're probably not going to get anything that's totally fair, but you should also be made aware 
that in a lot of these Kickstarter projects, they promise so much. But that's like a pipe dream of someone who probably isn't super tenured in the industry. It's probably not a team that has experience building these kinds of games to scale and things like that. So whether or not they mean well, the end result is going to pretty much be the same. You're not going to get the the experience they're probably selling to you because they they believe they can do it, but they probably can't. And I guess it's like a little bit of a nuance you have to look at in terms of, of Kickstarter and crowdfunding, things like that. What are they trying to do? What are they trying to sell you on? But things like this is such low effort trash that nobody's nobody's going to fund this. This is, you know, they're putting absolutely no effort whatsoever. But something like you look at Project Steel, they've obviously put some effort in. It's not enough in my opinion, but if you just look at it from the angle of kickstarting a company, kickstarting an idea, understandable. But yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't recommend putting money into anything like this, especially the ones that that literally just have a few a few paragraphs of text it just shows a, a lack of uh, planning and if they're going into funding the first you, probably the first time the public would ever see their project and their name and their idea if they go into that with with a lack of planning they're probably not going to do much of anything down the line and i guess that's that may be a cynical way of looking at things but realistically you're going to be right more times than you're wrong using that kind of uh that kind of thinking so Either way, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Just a little bit of a, a little bit of fluff for your Sunday. Hopefully you're all having a good weekend. It's fucking coming home. Uh, gonna go watch the England Italy match tonight, and we're gonna win. Hopefully, I don't really care about football that much, but you got to support your your country and all that. Either way, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe on the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully we'll get back to reviewing some games over the next week or so. Uh, obviously I had some issues in real life over the last like week, so. I've been trying to do stuff that's on my backlog or just real easy videos to pump out so I can keep stuff going on the channel. But hopefully going to have some time to actually play some games. Played Ashes of Creation the other day, so need to do my my thoughts on that, my first thoughts. And Swords of Legends Online, things of that nature. So thank you very much as always. Like, comment, subscribe. I don't know if I just said that, but whatever. Um, links in the video description, in the socials, Twitch, Discord, Patreon, things like that. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe out there. We're out. Peace. Mm -hmm.